Hi folks, Irish Trekkie back in Elite Dangerous, and we are going to do a boom data delivery. So, I'm limited hugely by my jump range, which hopefully after doing a few jobs will allow us to resolve that. So, yes, I'm back in Baker's Prospect where it all began. Um, so we have three jumps. Three jumps to do. Um, I was going to go with another mission, but it just didn't work out. Landing gear. Let's get the hell out of here, shall we? Let's go vertical. So, game... As a game, Gamescom, Gamerscom is on at the moment, and Elite Dangerous uh, Frontier Developments are releasing a lot of information Ooh, look at that. about cool um, about all things Elite, basically, and there's going to be new interiors for star bases. Uh, space stations even and uh, we saw a glimpse of the beluga liner which looks very cool huge looking ship but um they debuted some of the passenger missions as well did i just oh, i just fsc'd from um pretty close to the pretty close to a planet body i didn't know you could do that that was cool i like it i boot this Let's go. Let's go, 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 gadget. Frameshift drive charging. But, um, yeah, so some cool information dropping. Do check out their YouTube channel. Because they're posting little videos about it as well. Which is always good. Which is always gravy. Four, three, two, one. Engage. 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 Now, I should really pay attention to what I'm doing here. <laughs> and we need to go around the sun, don't we? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Now, while I do that, let's have a look at some of the comments from the last video. It's always good to hear. So, Daronator, I think is the name. Uh, you should play No Man's Sky. And I had commented back that it's on my to-do list, but I actually have my first video up already. And maybe by the time this goes live, there'll be another one up. So uh, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I must, just, I must say I am enjoying it immensely. And um, Devon said that uh, I've not actually played since the engineers became a thing. Wondering if I should jump back in my vulture and outfit it with the new upgrades. Um, Incoming mission critical ooh. message. Data boom. Hang on. We'll come back to Devin in a moment. Uh, option reward. Okay, there's a change in plan, Commander. We need that data delivered sooner. If you can manage it ooh, in the next two minutes. Uh, okay. Uh, where's it going? Deliver the goods to destination. Boil terminal. Okay. Where the hell is boil terminal? Uh, of course it's in the wrong direction. Right. What do you think? Two minutes, Jesus. That's cutting it close. Drop it down. Don't overshoot. Don't overshoot. Please don't overshoot. Oh. Hmm. Minute left. I don't think it's possible. I should have done my research. Come on. We're not going to overshoot anyway. Put all the pips into engines. Complex on there. Ooh, discovered new astronomical body. Oh my god, this feels like it's taken forever. 
Start to play in some Star Citizen as well. Back to ages ago. But I uh, haven't had a machine capable of playing it up until recent. Okay. Drop her out. Oh, come on. Boost in. Contacts. Uh, let it get down to seven and a half. Docking request granted. Two, two, two. Come on, boost. I would assume that's our bay there. Come on. Don't think we're going to get in any quicker. Really. And let's drop the gear. Incoming mission critical message. God damn it, overshot. Landing gear deployed. It's gonna be pretty close. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There we go. Wouldn't have made it anyway if I didn't even, even if I didn't overshoot. Uh, okay, start port services. Two minutes, that was crazy. I could have just emailed you guys. Oh. Claim reward. Ten grand. Didn't get the bonus. But it was all, it was all good. Ooh. 12 units, 6 units, 6 I see, I can't even do those jobs. Um, another boom. Two units. Hmm. It's probably not in my jump range. So the only one I could really take is another boom data delivery to Opala. So we are going to just quickly do a refill. 60 credits, I love it. Black destination. Now, let's just get out of here. And we're out. So, yeah, Devin was saying, um, should he come back and maybe look for some of the engineer's gear? Definitely recommend it. Especially if you've been away from a while. There's a lot of nice little changes. And, um,. I'm definitely enjoying the replay Frame factor of it. Uh, I am kind of getting frustrated with the good old Sidewinder. She's nice, but when you, when you're used to big ships, you're like, oh my god, give me give me some cargo space or some jump range. <laughs> but um, definitely should go to check it out anyway. And uh, Finrod, uh, I picked up this game a while ago, but can't play it as apparently I can't think in three dimensions. I tried all sorts of different controllers, seen uh, schemes, and I could not wrap my head around piloting. Um, yeah, I suppose that could be challenging. That could be challenging indeed. Uh, let me just... Where the hell is this? Something estate, wasn't it? Did I go right by it? Rasman thingy. Hmm. Starport Romanentico. Where the hell is that? Blah blah. Roman something or other. Oh, there it is. Um, like to me, you can play keyboard and mouse. You can play joypad, uh, gamepad. You can play Hotus, whatever. Um, for me, did we just get in a new one? No, nothing coming through. Probably just a glitch. Um, I actually prefer gamepad. I tried Hotas. Um, actually, do you know, I enjoyed the Hotas using VR. But um, for me, I do like the gamepad. 
It may not give you all the flexibility or dexterity that a hot house can do, but it's comfortable gaming for me. Um, as regards to the 3D, I always would look at the mini map down here. Um, if the lines are shown above, like this, they're obviously the target is above you. And if they're shown below, the lines are going up from them, it means that they're beneath you. And that little cone in the middle is your field of view here. And anything outside of that, you're just not going to see. Now, uh, I'm just doing a bad job of it there. When you see that blue line on your throttle, if your throttle is marked inside that blue line, see I'm kind of going up and going down there, that's going to give you your maximum turning rate. And see this little kind of globe just over here with the dot that's just moving around the center? If that's solid, it means that your destination or target is in front of you. If you can see the circle there but it's hollow, it means it's behind you. So as you can see, as I dip my nose down, that goes up and vice versa. And a little tip with docking stations, the mouth or the entrance to the docking station station or space station is always facing the planet. So if you come inside the orbital ring, like so, and try to come at it from this side, you may not be spot on like me. I'm trying to concentrate on doing something. Bloody dog is killing me. Now I'm probably miles away from this because my desk. My yeah. Is the ship close enough to me? Because I uh, warped uh, out without having my disengage set correctly there. Which is a bummer. But anyway, we can use this time to have a chat. So yeah, like it takes practice, to be honest with you. Um, you can see the hand movements as I'm moving around my joypad. Is this going to seriously take me four minutes? Am I that far from it? Probably. Um, but yeah, like I, I would say try and go through the training missions as well. It's always good to get your head around things but um, it's just like any other space sim um, or even FPS like again a good sense of your three dimensional space well that was nice a glint of the glass there in the cockpit there's a few scratches on it um, gives you a good kind of run good running start basically but um, I do urge you to try and try and try because it is a fun game. Now, this is more of a simulation than an arcade one. Um, there's a lot of things you can do. That's annoying me now. Um, to help out having flight assist on, uh, which is there. That lets your RCS or your maneuvering thrusters kind of cope. See that thing kind of glowing in the distance over there? That there. <laughs> That corrects any mistakes that you may have. Now I lost my patience. Decided to frame shift. So I'll quickly swing around. Ah, hang on. Okay, uh, less than a minute. I don't know. Disengage. Can we do it? Possibly. I don't know. Contact. I like these little bonus things. Okay, it landed down in less than a minute. Again, it's so tight. Dock and bay one. What the hell is that? It's above me. Okay. Come on. And down. 
airport services. That was relatively quick. I don't think it was within the 60 seconds. Do -do -do -do. Would be nice to get a bonus 25 grand. Oh, is it penalizing me for this? Oh, I did. 30 grand. Nice. High five. Um, so we're up to 50. Uh, secure information needs delivery. That really seems to be kind of like the best thing that I can do at the moment. Because uh, combat, forget about it. Absolutely forget about it. Um, shipyards. Um, type 9 heavy. Hauler. I wouldn't be far off getting a hauler. Which could be very handy. Which could be very handy indeed. So. That could be definitely the next viable ship for us. Um... So data boom, like if I can do the data booms and get there in time to get a bonus, that definitely seems to be the best way to go. Um, any data boom, source, no, secure information, is that within my grasp though? That's the question. Hmm. So, at the moment, I'm probably just going to let them refresh for a while. Um, see if something better comes my way. But that mission was out of my reach. Couldn't even plot a course. Um, jump range, obviously, is too far. So I'm just going to sit here for a while and let them refresh. So join me next time when we get a bit of cash. And maybe go for a slightly different ship. So thanks for watching. And don't forget, leave a comment and we may talk about it in the next video. And I will chat to you later. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And have a great day. Bye now.